Hi everyone, it's Stefan from Random Design and this is our Star Wars X-Wing case mod and our entry for the Cooler Master World Series 2019. The design is based on the T-70 X-Wing Black 1 from Commander Poe from the latest Star Wars trilogy. What's unique about this design is not only the dark color but also the turbine is split in half and don't forget the co-pilot BB-8. The X-Wing is 3D printed in PLA and so far our biggest 3D printing project. We would like to thank our partner Zinto who not only provided us with two printers but also all the filament we needed to complete this case mod. It took us about 1000 hours to complete the entire project and now we would like to share the building process and all of its functions with you. So, have fun watching the making of. First, I made a 3D model of the X-Wing based on templates and screenshots from the movie. The main body and most of the details were modeled in Cinema 4D, whereas more technical elements like the wings and the engines were constructed in SolidWorks. The entire 3D model was split into 152 pieces to print them on my Zinto 3D Box 2X. I 3D printed everything in PLA and used up to 25 spools of filament. After printing, days and nights of sanding followed. Then I assembled already larger parts like the body, the engine and the wings. Metal rods helped me not only to strengthen the parts but also to perfectly align all pieces. Next, all larger gaps were filled with milliput before the parts were taken for wet sanding. Afterwards, smaller imperfections were filled with spot putty and taken for another round of wet sanding until the surface is super smooth and even. At this point, I already put in all cables required for the lightening of the wings. After covering everything with spray filler, small scratches and other imperfections were filled with spot putty and sanded again. Then I primed everything and painted the X-Wing using my airbrush. By weathering, we achieved an used and dirty look of an X-Wing that had traveled throughout the universe and already faced multiple combats. Inside the X-Wing we have a water-cooled PC. Here in the cockpit we have the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard and also some switches to control the water cooling and the temperature sensor. In the front is the water tank that should look like some kind of engine. And as another highlight, in the back we have the NVIDIA Titan X Collector's Edition 
Jedi Order graphics card. To prepare the cockpit for installing the hardware, the inside was first colored black and then covered with carbon vinyl. I prepared the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard and adjusted already the alpha cool water cooling parts. I used hard tubing for the liquid cooling of the CPU. The water tank was placed in the front of the X-Wing and the loop was filled with blue liquid. To cover the inside of the cockpit, I designed and built small LED panels. Small symbols were plotted on vinyl and dabbed on the panels as further decoratives. Then the panels were glued into the cockpit. For the graphics card in the back, I had to enlarge the opening first and created a mounting which holds it in place. As another highlight, I wanted the engine to look like it can be started. So I designed and 3D printed four small rings on my Zinto printers. Each ring holds eight LEDs, which will light up the exhaust from the inside. Finally, I programmed the LEDs with an Arduino to start with a red and yellowish color which then shifts over into blue just as the engine gets fired up and reaches its full power. One last highlight that shouldn't be missed is of course the co-pilot BB-8. The droid is connected to a small stepper motor that controls the movement of his head. I started again by making a 3D model and then printed my BB-8 in PLA. After sanding and filling, I primed the BB-8 and started coloring using my airbrush. I masked the white areas with tape and cut out the parts that I wanted to color orange. Other highlights were colored in a metal tone and then I weathered BB-8 to achieve a used look. The movement is achieved by using a stepper motor controlled by an Arduino. I also included the characteristic blue and red LEDs of BB-8. And that's it! We hope you liked the video. If you want to see more of our upcoming projects, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And again, we want to thank our sponsors Sinto, Cooler Master, MSI, Alpha Cool and GeForce Garage. So, see you next time in a galaxy far, far away.